welcome or back to my channel so today i'm back with a vlog i'm gonna be doing a productive day in my life kind of just taking you guys along with me throughout the day i am planning to take down all my christmas decorations and kind of decorate my apartment just thought i would kind of vlog that and kind of motivate you guys to do the same as i take down my decorations i'm gonna be like dusting and cleaning i also want to cook a nice dinner tonight just like maybe like a pinterest inspired meal so i thought i would include that as well and then i also need to get some groceries for that so that's kind of what i'm planning for this vlog so not anything super exciting just kind of like a normal day in my life but also kind of more productive than usual i guess before i get into this video i just want to show you guys what i'm wearing i'm wearing this super cute set from aloe yoga it is still like winter weather so it's pretty cold so i did throw on this hoodie over top but i have this super cute workout set from aloe yoga I'll show you guys what it looks like but i am so obsessed with it um this is the perfect thing to wear on a productive day this is a really good set for working out whether you're doing an intense workout or just taking your dog for a walk this is really good it's super comfy to lounge in it's great for running errands it looks super cute so i love aloe yoga they are literally one of my favorite brands i have a couple of their bike shorts and i wear them every day in the summer and i have a couple other sets from them that I wear. I literally love their pieces and they genuinely have the cutest matching sets. So I definitely recommend picking one up. That's what I'm wearing in this video. I actually am partnering with Aloe Yoga on this video, but truly they are one of my favorite brands. So I have a couple different sets from Aloe Yoga. I have the one that I'm wearing in this video, which is this super cute kind of like teal set and the leggings are super high waisted and they're just really comfy. They fit um, in the waistband similar to the bike shorts that I have and I love and I wear very frequently. They're just like the perfect fitting leggings i absolutely love them and they're just like this super cute color the sports bra is like this super cropped kind of traditional fitting sports bra and it has the aloe logo and on it so it's super cute i just love the set so i thought i would wear it today i feel like the colors are great it's like a fresh kind of um color I feel like this color just kind of goes with that vibe of like fresh and clean and I don't know. I also have this other set, super cute. I showed this in another vlog and it's this red color. Um, I do love red. I feel like red is just really flattering. It's this high neck kind of sports bra. It's really, really flattering as well. And it's also padded. And then the leggings are also really high waisted and they have like some mesh detailing and it's just super, super cute. So I love both of these sets. I'm gonna have them linked down below. You can shop all the products and pieces through the links in my description. So all the details will be there. Alo Yoga is having an end of the year sale. So definitely make sure to check that out and shop the end of the year sale. Um, and you can pick out these pieces and so much more. Um, they just have so many great pieces so I will link below some of my other favorites from Aloe Yoga. Something I really love about Aloe Yoga is that all their pieces are sustainably and ethically made. They're 100% sweatshop free. And these sets are so comfortable. The one that I'm wearing right now, the teal one, is so nice. It's like a thick kind of material. It's easy to move in. It's really, really good quality. So comfortable. Like I could literally lounge in this all day. It doesn't like gap or stretch out in the waist. It's not like I'm constantly having to pull it up or anything like that. Like it just fits really, really good. And the length is nice too if you're a little bit taller. So this is the set. I just thought I'd show you guys. As you can see, the leggings are just super high-waisted. They fit really good. This is what they look like. I feel like they are just so flattering and cute. I love this color too. It's, this is the sports bra. I love the little logo right here. It's like a nice classic sports bra fit. Just wanted to tell you quickly what I'm gonna be wearing throughout this video because you'll be seeing the super cute workout set that I'm wearing um, today. I feel like you guys might be curious about it, so I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it. Check out the links in the description if you guys are curious about the set and shop the end of the year sale from Aloe Yoga. I am gonna be wearing a hoodie just because it is cold. Let's just go ahead and get into the cleaning. I kind of just wanna procrastinate it forever, but I do want my Christmas decorations down, so I guess I will get started. Comment down below when you guys like to take your Christmas decorations down. I usually do do this pretty quickly, like right, like the day after, a couple days after Christmas. I wanna start the new year off fresh and not like still have Christmas stuff lingering around. But I usually decorate for Christmas pretty early, so I'm like sick of seeing this stuff because I've been seeing it for like two months now. Not to procrastinate further, but I do think it's important to make a to-do list before I get started. Might be because I got all the all this like cute stationery for Christmas, but I do wanna make a cute aesthetic to-do list. I can um, feel productive of like checking things off throughout the day. I'm using my friend Lauren here on YouTube. I'm using her notebook that I bought on her Etsy page. I'll link it down below to make my to-do list. It's like the perfect to-do list notebook. Little lines, so it just makes it really nice.
Okay, so here is my to-do list. So I've got take down Christmas decorations, put regular decorations back up, laundry, clean, just so I can like dust while I'm taking the Christmas decorations down. I wanna plan out some January videos if I have time. I need to fix my nail. I need to go and take my dog for a walk, maybe get groceries for dinner and then make dinner with my sister and then maybe go to Target if I have time, if I need to get some new stuff. My family and I started a Monopoly game so I might go over there and finish that game. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of like leave this here so I can check it off. Now there is really nothing stopping me from doing my Christmas decorations and taking them down and doing all that. So I'm gonna stop procrastinating and actually do it. Okay, little update. I took down all my Christmas decorations except for my tree and I was able to fit them in one tub and then I have another tub with like pillows and blankets. I think I'm going to have to get another tub for just these last couple pillows and then I'm hoping it'll be big enough to just fit this little tree in there because that's the only thing I couldn't fit. Maybe this, my grandma got it for me for Christmas and it's really cute and I might like put it out or something next year. I'm actually pretty impressed that everything fit in here. So now I'm just going to work on putting out my new decorations and then I will tackle the tree. So this is kind of like what I had before. This being like here in the corner, I feel like I need something tall. I'm not really loving this. Also, that looks pathetic and dead. So I thought this would be cute. I just have this little TJ Maxx candle, but I'm really sleek looking and it kind of adds some contrast and then the pink flowers are kind of tall. So I really like how that looks. Okay, so this is the challenge because I set up the shelf pretty soon before Christmas, so it's pretty much only had Christmas decorations on it. As much as I love the shelf, I also hate it because it's really hard to find things to fill up the shelf that looks good. This shelf looks good. This will look good once I get a picture in it, but the rest of it is all pretty empty, including the top. There's a lot of Pinterest inspo, but I'm just really struggling to find things that I like to fill it. And I finally did for Christmas, but now Christmas is over and I have to start pretty much over again. I will probably need to make a trip to Target and Ikea and it'll probably be a process. It's probably not gonna be done by today, so I'm not even gonna try. I definitely need to look at some inspo because that's kind of where I got the idea for this. I did not come up with that. I did get these books for Christmas, these Disney books, so I'm gonna put those on there. kind of just to 
decided that I'm really bad at this and there's like no hope. A lot of other things to do today and I think this is gonna be a pretty big project. So I just kind of set all of my extra decorations on there randomly and I will do it a different day. Now I'm just going to kind of clean up my apartment because I have stuff everywhere. I do still need to take down my tree. Look at my palm plant. It is so dead. I feel like I should literally just throw it away. Maybe this will Oh, super dead. I have a backup, a fake backup. So this is like what I'm currently dealing with. Um, just a bunch of stuff. Everything else is pretty much clean. Everything's looking good in here. Just need to carry all these down to my garage. I feel like I've been pretty productive. So I cleaned up my apartment and now I'm just leaving to go to the grocery store. I'm gonna pick up my sister on the way. And then when we get back, we are gonna get started on the pasta. She's texting me that she's hungry and it takes a long time to make, so I am leaving. Now I'm just gonna show you my outfit. This is what I'm wearing, so I just have this gray hoodie with the aloe yoga leggings and then I have some white socks and my Air Force Ones that I got for Christmas. Underneath, I do have the matching sports bra, but I am kind of cold, so I just have this hoodie over top everything's pretty much cleaned up i think all my decorations are put away i just need to find a place to store my tree i might have to take it to my parents house everything else is pretty much put up and i've cleaned up my apartment and it smells really nice because i had that candle going but i'm gonna leave now before my sister yells at me <laughs> I know this lighting is pretty horrendous, but I just wanted to let you guys know. I just feel so refreshed, like all the Christmas decorations are gone and packed away. I love Christmas and I love Christmas decorations, but after seeing them for two months, I'm just ready for something new. I never really had just regular decorations out in my apartment, because like I said, when I moved in, it was October, and so I had fall and then Christmas, and I'm just like ready for just like regular, standard decorations. I'll probably be showing some more apartment updates um, in upcoming vlogs. Just, I feel so productive and like my apartment just looks so fresh and clean. Now I am picking up my sister and we are gonna go grocery shopping and get some stuff for this amazing pasta. Um, her boyfriend was visiting, her boyfriend Tanner, he was visiting and her and Tanner made us, made me and my parents this amazing pasta dinner. I'll show you guys this Instagram story. And they made like fresh bruschetta and like this pasta and it literally tasted like a restaurant and I've been craving this pasta ever since and I think it was a recipe she got on Pinterest so we are making it again I want to make this recipe but I'm honestly so bad at cooking so I'm gonna have her show me how to make it tonight and thought it'd be fun for the vlog so you guys can see this delicious recipe Hello. get in loser we're going grocery shopping <laughs> So we are back at my apartment and we're gonna start making this delicious pasta. I will post the link to the recipe below because Lauren found it on Pinterest, but it is already seven and it takes like an hour to make it. So we are gonna get started. It's so, so good. Lauren literally, I don't even know, start like a food vlog or something because she always makes the best looking food. So Lauren is doing um, the onions and the garlic. Yes. It's in the oil, and I'm just cooking it until it gets like softened. And then I'm gonna see. add the tomato paste here in a second. Got these noodles, so they just look like that. This uh, pan might be too small.
So here is the sauce. Doesn't that just look delicious? Lauren is working on straining the noodles. Now we're stirring the noodles, pasta, I guess, with the um, sauce. Just a quick little update. So we had dinner. It was so good. I 10 out of 10 recommend making it. It's a little challenging for me, but like it was easy for Lauren. We are just gonna be leaving my apartment and go back to my parents' house because we started a Monopoly game there a couple days ago. Friends Monopoly too. Um, but I might end the vlog here because I feel like I'm probably not gonna be doing much the rest of the night. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. I've been enjoying my leggings. They're super comfortable. 